Hi everyone, this is Geraldine and welcome to Inside the Edge Club. In this month's class, we're going to um, find our way around the software, learn what the toolbars are all about and what their function is, and we're going to create a few things to get you started. So one of the first things you're going to create is going to do a bookmark. So you're going to actually learn how to create this shape I am going to cut it as well with you. Um, you can add a tassel, make a tassel, you could put ribbon on the end. So we're going to do that. We've got two different materials here. We've got the glitter card and then just the background card that we're going to use. So I'm going to talk to you about those. We're also going to make a stencil um, because when I cut this out, and pulled the piece that you see here off the mat, I was really in OR about what was left behind. So I created then a stencil of this same design. Then the pieces that were left behind, I could then place on a card and you could create then another bookmark using the elements that were left behind. The stencil was there to make it easy to put the pieces back together. You simply take the card and place it inside the stencil and glue it down. So I thought there was a good opportunity to introduce you to the stencil. I did play around with this a little bit. I um, added some uh, little dots um, with a gold pen and um, just printed it up. I haven't cut it yet into a bookmark as such, but I wanted to show that with you. Um, also talk to you about the uh, materials that I used for making stencils. Then the more I looked at it and, and really liked it, I decided then I would get some texture paste and lay the stencil down again on the card and fill the stencil with the texture paste and then when you lift it off you're left with this white pasty material that's raised. Then when you take your inks and you colour in the paste with your inks and some dots with the gel pen, some glossy accents on the centre, it also goes well. Then when I did that and I really liked it I thought well why not while we're here let's do another one. So this one I did on a nice white cardstock. It's kind of like a linen-y feel. I've put the stencil over the top and applied the texture paste. And then when it's completely dried, I went back over it with the Distress inks and colored it in and then added some more glossy accents. And I'm not sure if you can see the little bits in between are quite glassy looking from the glossy accents. Can you catch that on there? Not really. So it was quite lovely and then with the gel pen just added some dots and things just to pretty it up. So then to take that one step further because we can because the software is so amazing we can take then our glitter card bookmark turn that into a stencil create our glitter uh, to create our um, texture paste design, we can then take it to another step where you cut fabric. And if you own an embroidery machine, then we can then turn the same design into an applique design using the software. So I just went, oh wow. So here I was thinking so many ways to do things with the same design. So then I took the inside section as well and converted that. I did leave out these little bits and the star in the center and in the video that explains how you do this, I do say to you, you could take it out or leave it in, up to you. So the idea of this is to get you going, to get your confidence up so that you feel like you can do something. If you don't have an embroidery machine, you can still cut this out and use it just with your normal sewing machine. 
and just applique or satin stitch around the shapes. So I hope you like those. I'm going to get started now on showing you how to cut 